Welcome back to Olaf 2046. Today I'm actually gonna reshoot my sun shade video for the rear door. Now the sun sunshade for the rear door comes in this BMW bag. It also has a little installation sheet, which is kind of cool. It shows you how to use the shade. And it actually, the thing has a parts number, which is um, on here. And it's long, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. It also has anchor clips that you could use to anchor it to the door, which I haven't used yet because you have to use these. You have to, uh, the temperature has to be above 70 degrees, it says in the instructions. And I've had experiences in the past where I've tried to uh, use double sided tape or anchoring stuff on a BMW in the cold and it never stuck, it just always came loose. So I'm just gonna wait till summer to install the clips. Now you don't really need the clip to get the shades installed. You get two two shades, one for the um, passenger and the driver's side uh, rear door. And it folds up and opens real easy. So that's how it looks open. And to fold it up, you just kind of twist it like that. And it folds really flat. You could also, I don't know if you could see, you could slip it into your rear net if you have a rear cargo net there on your front seat. You can slip it in there, it goes in right easy. A little close so you guys can see. So it fits right in there, like if you um, want to store it uh, for the rear passengers to use, which is kind of cool. Now I'm just going to install it on the rear door just show you guys how real easy it is. So to unfold it, take it out like that, it sort of flips out real quick. And this is particular for each door. So the way the clip works on this, uh, this is for the driver's side rear door here. And all it is, you start by inserting this in the back and pushing it against the glass. And that's it. You have to go over the, um, the door pin here, the open closed door pin. Make sure it's an inside of that and then it installs in the glass and that's it. It's that quick and that simple. Now, if you do use the um, anchor, um, anchor holes, you will have to um, sort of maneuver them inside the hole so it stays rigid. Now, the way I'm using it now, you don't want to use it with the windows down. If this window is down, chances are if it's really windy as you're driving by, as you're driving on the highway, it will sort of uh, blow out. Let me see if I get the windows down for you guys. So, kind of that's how it looks. There. So, now if the windows are down, chances are it could really easily blow out of the car. So just keep that in mind, you'll get like something like that happening. So let's reinstall it. It's also real hard to install this with the windows down, so you want to keep the windows up. There. So I'm actually going to just put my windows back up. And then, yeah. So that's it installed. The sun is coming down a little bit and uh, it will it does provide shade. I have been using this thing for a little while now and it has been providing really good shade for my infant that sits in the back seat. So there you go. I also have the rear sunshade set up in the back along the rear deck there. So um, that's pretty much it. This was $100 it cost for the boat, both sides. The kit, well the set cost $100. So. The question you're probably thinking, is it worth it or isn't it worth it? Uh, I think it's worth it if you have kids and you didn't get the package that has a real sun, um, sun by, sunshade inside the door. Um, this is actually, I think, better than a factory sunshade because it covers the entire door frame, whereas the factory, um, factory sun blinds that pull up sort of leave little gaps on the side there. So keep that in mind. Um, it's really good. I think it's a good investment. It's $100. Now, you could go to Baby's R Us and buy the cheapy ones for twenty dollars that cover part of the glass, but the way sun gets in this car, I mean, you want the whole uh, window covered. I think, in my experience, there's the Metro North going by. We just come around and show you guys how it looks on on this door. I wasn't paying attention in film class about shooting into the sun. <laughs> so you can see the door there, you can see right through that glass. And I'm gonna put the shade on there, you can kind of see what it does. So 
so let's see what it does so it provides that amount of shade like sort of like a mild tint I'm not sure what tint that would be maybe a midway tint so I didn't want to get tints and I know these would cost more than tints so it's kind of what I wanted for um, my back seat uh, passenger right there who's usually in that seat and you know she doesn't mind it provides good shade from the Sun for her there so you guys could see kind of how it looks and compare the front door to the rear door so it kind of also makes the window the glass more reflective than um, a window without the sun line behind it so the sun line makes the glass more reflective so it does provide the privacy uh, element to the car you know compared to the front where you can kind of see right in there the back you cannot see right in there all you see is my reflection so in terms of that it does um, provide uh, privacy as well as blocking out the sun so that for me I think is a good investment and back away so you guys can see how it looks I'm actually gonna come around away from the Sun I don't only have the rear sunshade up today it's down but when that sunshade is up in the back it provides a little bit better um, coverage in the back and that's it guys that's my rear sunshade um, review and again I did shoot this video early but I wanted to reshoot it because I got the tripod in and I kind of wanted to provide better quality videos for you guys